continue to the warm-up. We are at Perry High School just outside of Commodore Field with the head coach in his fourth season, Jesse Kill, also the athletic director. So this time of year, do you actually get to – that that AD hat is off a little bit and you're just all focused on football or is the AD hat never off? Uh, you know, the AD hat is never off. Uh, you can you can talk to anybody that's been in that been in that position, and they can tell you that it's a full time job. Uh, I still teach the four classes as well. So uh, when it comes to fall, it's definitely a pretty busy time for me. But it is nice that it is fall weather and fall football. So can't can't complain with high school football coming around. Small senior class. You said four of them, right? Four seniors. Four seniors. Uh, guys have been with me since uh, you know their freshman year. Besides one. Uh, I tell you what, they're a group of great leaders. Yeah. Definitely more vocal than what we've had in the past. They're here, they're dependable. Uh, but we're going to have to rely on some of the younger guys. We're going to have a lot of thin resumes coming out on the field this year. So uh, hopefully them young guys who are actually, I would say, are, are a lot bigger than okay. the seniors that left last year. And you could say maybe by the time they're older, we'll be a little bit more talented as far as skill-wise. Uh, I mean, that last year's senior class, it was big, and they were – they were dedicated and they were hard workers, mm -hmm. uh, but just a little bit more excitement with this young group okay. coming in. Is the excitement carrying over to two days, or are they yeah. a little drained <laughs> at this point? Uh, you know, it's day it's day two. We didn't we didn't start <laughs> okay. the last couple of days last week. We're not changing anything offensively or defensively. So, uh, and then they made that change pretty late in the season yeah. after I'd already made the summer schedule. So, we're only on day two. So it's still pretty. There's there's still some excitement in these guys right now. What have you learned as a coach, as the head coach in your three years here that you've tried to, you know, implement a little bit differently this year? Uh, I can tell you that from year one, I've learned about everything. <laughs> I, I, I don't know exactly how I made it through year one, uh, but uh, each year you always take a little bit here and there, whether it's from a clinic or whether it's from a certain game, you learn something here and there. Uh, I, I would just say overall, there hasn't been a huge change from last year to this year, but from year one to here, the offense has progressed, the defense has progressed to things that we feel uh, our, our team is better suited for, being a more athletic team as opposed to a big ground and pound team. You know, we, we try to adjust our scheme so that way it helps us out. And these guys that have been through the program, do you feel like that's all they know at this point? Absolutely, and that's one of the best things. You know, being a fourth year head coach, everybody that's been in, is, that's involved in this program has, they know what to expect. Hmm. And there have been the minor changes, but for the most part, the fundamentals, the base schemes, have, they haven't changed since year one. Take us through some of those leaders individually who we're going to call their names on the sports report oh, this yeah. year. You, you, who we'll be looking forward uh, to seeing. You know, one of, the, one of the guys that we'll have who you'll probably call his name a few times. I don't want to give him too much credit because he's just standing over here. He might <laughs> feel too good about himself. His name is R.J. King. He, uh, he plays safety. He's been a three-year starter. He is a ball hawk. Mm -hmm. he, he, you'll call his name several times, probably getting a few interceptions. I'm hoping he's around the 5 to 10 range, depending on how well he listens to me with that footwork. <laughs> uh, another guy, we have a uh, senior leader. He'll be our linebacker, middle guy in the middle, Austin Rush. Great guy, hardworking kid. Uh, he'll be the center for us on offense, just anchor the line and great leader. We also have Jacob Lehman, the other, the other senior. He's going to be on the offensive line as well and on the defensive line. It's just good to have those seniors up in the trenches. What questions do you have for this team that you want to answer in those scrimmages, taking on Riverdale, St. Wendelin, Van Lu here in the preseason? How much them young guys are listening. <laughs> <laughs> and you won't find out to the <laughs> scrimmage, <laughs> do you? We won't find out to the scrimmage. You know, you know, having four seniors, the majority of our team is going to consist of sophomores and, and, and juniors. You know, try not to put as many freshmen up on varsity uh, as possible. So those sophomores and juniors, we'll see what they've been listening to and how well, uh, how well we've coached them. What kinds of things do you guys do during the summer to get ready for August? Uh, we lift. We lift the uh, three days a week, and we do the speed day, so we go four days a week. We have our camp days mm -hmm. where we focus primarily on the passing, which is something that we've been wanting to develop over the course of four years. Our passing has gotten a lot better. Uh, passing went from, I think, maybe 100 yards a game to last year we were around 190 yards a game. Wow. So it's getting better. The passing percentage is going up. Uh, but as far as summer, that, I mean, just focus on a lot of the fundamental things that will carry over on Friday nights. You guys finished out the year well last year, winning four out of your last six games, good wins over USV. Uh, Riverside was a nice victory, 43-35, Jefferson Township, then Ridgemont to close out the year. A lot of seniors last year, so a lot of experience is gone, but do you feel like you can carry that over to this year? Absolutely. Anytime you end on that type of note, 
you got to give the guys credit because to start off 0-4, yeah. and then they stuck with it, and they still kept working hard, and they practiced even harder in practice. They accepted the challenge. You know, that's something that I don't know we can say we've always done here. And the fact that we bounce back from 0-4 and, and end up winning four is, is something great, and it carries the momentum, and, and I think it gave these young guys that are going to be playing a lot of confidence. I'm sure a lot of that was the seniors wanting to finish strong, but as a coaching staff, how did you guys get them to, to come back, basically, and win those four games? Well, over the, over the last few years, you know, the playoff picture has expanded a little bit. Right. And we always, try to, we always try to say, hey, Perry has never been to the playoffs yeah. ever, right. never won a league title, and this is your last chance. With that big senior class, they were willing to put the extra effort in and practice. Mm -hmm. And we, believe it or not, even at 0-4, we weren't completely out of the playoffs. You know, each year, the last three years, we went from 18th in the polls to 14th. Last year, we were 12th, yeah. and we were a play or two away from two games that probably would have put us right around that eight or nine bubble range. So having that playoff uh, goal is really keeping these guys focused. Finally, you open with, what, four games at home out of the first five. Nice to have some home cooking. Tro Troy Christian yeah. Scott, get get the wheels rolling, hopefully. Yeah, it, it's nice to open up at home. It uh, doesn't say a whole lot for the later half of this year. <laughs> that won't be as nice going. But at least we'll have the nice warm weather for the crowd around here. Uh, the the, the non-league games that we start with, Troy Christian, Toledo Scott, and Ayersville, they're they are, they're all getting a lot better. In fact, Troy Christian didn't have, even have a team right. two years ago. And then last year, I think they went six and three okay. or so. Uh, Toledo Scott, the big uh, city school from Toledo, they're picking things up as well. They were starting to win about an extra game each year over the last four years. Ayersville had a huge turnaround last year. Yeah, I think they went seven and three or eight and two. So that first three, those first three, they're going to be a little bit difficult. And then we start our first league with uh, Sydney Lehman, who's just going to have almost everybody back. So it'll be good to see. It'll be a good test to start. Jesse Kale and the Perry Commodores excited for that week one matchup with the When we return, Mark couldn't stop by with View the players here on the warm up on WSN. Welcome back to the warm up at Perry High School. I'm Mark Koontz, joined now by three of those Perry Commodore seniors Austin Rush, RJ King, and Willie Harrison. Austin, let's start with you. Uh, Coach Kill had some good words to say about you. A small class of seniors. How much are you guys looking forward to putting your imprint of leadership on this Commodore program? Well, we're looking to put a lot. It's really right now we're just looking for a lot of young guys to step up, especially the juniors. we got a pretty decent junior-sized class, and we're just looking for them to step up right now and instill some of our leadership into them. RJ, tell us about some of these young kids that are going to be getting a lot of varsity minutes this year. Well, you got, you got John Hairston. He's pretty good. Well, you got Brandon Neal, too. He was a big part of the offense last year. Super fast, super strong. Squatted 405, actually, this year. It's pretty impressive for a junior. So, it's two. Willie, what was the offseason like for the, the Commodores? Hard work, dedication, and staying focused. You guys have now been with Coach Kill, his fourth season now as Perry. What have you seen from coaches as, as he's kind of matured and, and gotten into, gotten used to being the head coach here? We'll, we'll start with you, Austin. He's progressed a lot. He's really matured into that, like, that, that great coach, and, uh, and I hope to go far with him this year. Obviously, RJ, you've also got uh, Coach Lee on the staff as well. What does he bring to the defensive staff? I know a lot of enthusiasm with him. Oh, yeah, Coach Lee, he's a trip, man. He, he – <laughs> He's very energetic, you can say that, and he has a lot of good stunts up front. He's pretty smart. He's a smart guy. Willie, what, uh, what are your goals for this season? Just have fun. Enjoy playing with the team. That's it for real. RJ, what are you most looking forward to? Well, I'm looking forward to finish out my season with all my friends, I, I went to Perry my whole life with these guys, so I'm looking to finish it out strong with them, go to the playoffs for the first time. It should be fun. Austin, a, a couple weeks before that opener with Troy Christian, what do you guys need to work on the most between now and that opener? Uh, I think right now our biggest thing right now is just our, our defense right now. We just need to make sure we step up on that. Our, our offense seems pretty set. It looks like we're getting that down. That's our defense. We step up on that, we'll be good to go. Finally, RJ, take us through the NWCC. I mean, we know Fort Laramie and Sydney Lehman are, are awful good. Last year, you guys went 3-3 three and three in conference, tied for third. Do, do you think that's going to be a little bit of a stepping stone this season for you guys? 
Uh, yeah, well, you got you always got to worry about Sydney Lehman and Lehman, like, and Fort Laramie. They're always going to be good, but you got teams like Waynesfield. Riverside's going to be much better this year, I think, and you got all the other teams. But, yeah, USB, you're just going to have to beat them if you want to go to the playoffs for real. And that week six match with Waynesfield Goshen is one of the games you'll be able to see on WOSN. We need to take a break from the warm up when we come back. We'll wrap it up with some more Converse here on W. Welcome back to the warm up. Joined now by Sam Sanders. Junior, Jacob Lehman, a senior on the line, and Kevin Allen, a junior on the offensive and defensive line. And, uh, Kevin, let's start with you. This line, looks like you guys got a lot of guys coming back in the line. Is that going to be one of the strengths of this team? Uh, yeah, I think I think it is. And uh, we got, like, Willie coming in, and uh, I think he might get some sacks in the backfield, a few tackles. He definitely needs to work on his footwork. Footwork a little bit. Mm -hmm. Jacob, one of the, the four seniors on this team. Uh, these young guys, do you see a hunger in their eyes ready to become varsity players? Yeah, I think a lot of young guys are ready to step up and really uh, play a role in, on both sides of the ball. Last year had Corey go down and had a freshman quarterback, Plummy, come up and played really well. And so I think that inspired a lot of these other young guys to come up and do a good job. Sam, we know every time you're talking about a Division Seven team, you're, you have to be concerned with the numbers of kids who come out. You, you like where the numbers are this year for this Commodore program? Yeah, we have about 40 kids come out this year, and that's one of the bigger numbers we've had. And the last couple of years we've been getting good numbers, but we had really good numbers this year. Obviously, you want to keep everybody healthy. That goes back to conditioning. What type of conditioning work did you guys put in over the summer? Uh, we had lifting almost every day and speed training almost every day. So we were working really hard in the weight room, and then we'd come out and work on our agility and speed. And then we'd come out for practice and just work hard and get ourselves in shape. You know, Jacob, obviously you've been through this a couple of years now. You start to get through the grind of two-a-days. What do you do in between practices to, to kind of keep your energy up but also keep your enthusiasm up? Uh, I just go around. I talk to the different guys and see how they're doing. Um, Make sure young guys know what's going on on the offensive and defensive side, and just if you ever if you ever need to get some energy, you just go talk to Coach Lee, and he'll uh, he'll pick you right up. <laughs> Absolutely, uh, Kevin. A couple of weeks away from that opener against Troy Christian. I know that's a game everybody is looking forward to. Are there other games on the schedule that you're looking forward to? Uh, I'm really looking forward to uh, Fort Laramie and Sydney Lehman because those are two uh, uh, teams that we lost to, and I just hope that we can keep a good game with them. And all right, thank you very much, guys. That's going to do it for us tonight on the warm up. I want to thank all of our guests, including Jesse Gill for Andy Lynch. I'm Mark Coots. See you next time on W.